Hi, my name is Walter Montero. I'm a real estate and mortgage agent here in Cambridge, Ontario, and I've had the privilege of serving our community since 1987. Over the years, I've met some great people here in our community in many different businesses and walks of life. Some, of course, are well known and others are some of the best kept secrets in town. So the purpose of this podcast is to share and introduce them to you. Welcome to the I Love Cambridge podcast. How do I pronounce your last name? Is this is the G soft or, or is it hard? It's Gollinger. Gollinger. Okay, got it. Okay. And the name of your company is Top Notch Concierge, right? Correct. That's great. So t- this is a this is an exciting topic for me. Uh, I, I've got some questions for you. So tell us a little bit about your service. <laughs> So um, our services uh, helps uh, busy uh, professionals um, organize and manage their life, uh, okay. which gives them ultimately uh, given them more time to uh, to reduce stress and have more time in their life for more quality time in their life. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So what what kind of things? What kind of services do people typically look for in this landscape? Uh, well, you go ahead. <laughs> well. It's, it's whatever, like everybody's different, but it's like simple things like running errands, maybe, you know, obviously this was before COVID, uh, picking up groceries, going, doing grocery shopping. We can bring them home, put them in their house for them, put them in the fridge, put them away in the cupboards, do that sort of thing. Uh, you know, you go out in the weekend, you buy some stuff, you don't like it. Now you got to return it to the bay or somewhere like that. Uh, we can take the time to do that for you during the week when it's not busy, when you come home at night, you don't have to worry about that sort of stuff. Uh, just just little odd well, jobs yeah. like that. Uh, go home, ahead. home organizations actually become a pretty big part of our services. Um, okay. We have some very big jobs with that. And actually also helping customers um, uh, with uh, shopping of uh, decor for their home, for example. Uh, we were actually started a fairly big project when COVID hit. And okay. so we're kind of halfway through that, but that included um, uh, shopping for uh, window treatments, um, uh, furniture. furniture, yes. Uh, we actually uh, were in Cambridge at uh, the Mennonite uh, Furniture Store. Oh, yes. We ordered yeah. a, a piece for our, our client. And uh, so, yeah, so things like that, we've uh, have become a big part of our business also. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It, it seems like uh, we, we tend to like to accumulate things, but we don't like to throw things out. <laughs> yes. Oh, I see. Okay, good. But people tend to reach a point where they, they can't find things or they're buying things that they know they have somewhere and they can't find them anymore. And so it, uh, it, it, they call us and most of the time it's like desperation, like, okay, I need some help here. I need to get organized. And, yeah. and it's, it's a little easier when someone else does it for you because we're doing it because that's what we do. When you start to organize, you start, oh, look at this picture. <laughs> oh, look at this book. Do you remember when we had this? And something that should take maybe 40 minutes is all day. I see. Accomplish nothing. So it, it. it's counterproductive in a way. <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay. So now one of the things you uh, uh, touched on was uh, organizing. Specifically, are we talking about garages closets uh, uh we we can do it all we can we can do it all and and we have done uh, a full home uh, organizing we've done from bedrooms to uh to uh the basement yeah okay. we, we've done all that yeah yeah outside areas like deck areas uh, mm-hmm. covered areas where you know people meet outside that you know just just gathered a bunch of uh stuff so Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah, it can be we can do, you know, if well, all you need is help with uh, organizing your closets, we can do that. If you need help with, you know, organizing a kitchen, garage, uh, you know, we can do that too. So we, we can break it down into individual rooms or help you with your, your, your whole home if you want. Yeah, okay. actually, we've had some calls from people that actually have storage sheds mm-hmm. that they need yes. to have yeah. help organize because mm-hmm. their their storage sheds are so full that, you know, they have more stuff to go in them. And now they want to try to organize them to make room for new stuff and get rid of old stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay, perfect. Now, I would imagine that uh, your services would probably fit in nicely with somebody preparing their home for sale. Go ahead with the home for sale yeah yes yes and actually we have uh 
uh, contacted a few realtors in the area and uh, yeah, it, it's, it's a great service for them uh, because we, uh, we can go in and again, help the, the client um, downsize, you know, yep. if needed and help them pack and actually uh, help them unpack. We can do uh, we can do all that. So and, yeah, and the, and the prep to get the house ready for sale. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, you know if we need uh, cleaning and even in between uh, viewings, you know if you need you know some just some minor touch ups, we can yeah. we can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Now, how how far do your services go? Like, do you do you would you go as far as like subcontracting any kind of construction work? Like, would you go that far or is that too far? Uh, we, we can, if needed, we do like to try and build relationships with different, uh, contractors, uh, you know, in the area, but yeah, we, we can, we do, uh, if needed, we do a referral service too, of course, because, uh, for example, we don't take care of pets. Yep. Uh, so, uh, we do have people who have actually, we do have a, a little, uh, Yorkie. So we have, we know people who will, and we would refer them because we know that we can trust them I see. and, and they do a great job. So uh, a part of our business is also referrals, you know, and uh, okay. building those relationships is really important. Yeah. So uh, a large part of the work then that is, that is required or that requires doing is done by yourselves. Is that right? Uh, yes. If we can do it, yes, we, we will do it. And we will also, uh, you know, if we need help, if it's a pretty big job uh, with organizing, for example, if we need help, then we will subcontract that, you know, get subcontractors to work with us and we will all do the job together. Yeah. Like, like an know. organizer. So yes. like we, yeah. we have like a pool of organizers that, you know, kind of work together. So okay. if somebody has a, a job that's maybe a little bigger than the scope that they're used to, they can draw from that and get some extra people in. And so everybody's sort of on the same page to begin with. Yeah. 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 Okay. So if somebody requires, like, especially this time of year, uh, you know, maybe they're away or maybe they're incapacitated, requires, you know, maybe a lawn cutting or a, or a, a pool being open, you can, you can basically arrange all that. Is that right? Yes. We, yeah, we, that would be something that we would arrange. It's not something that, like, we're not going to go out and cut the lawn, uh, yeah. but we would certainly arrange for that, yes. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Okay. What, what we do in some of those instances is we'll reach out to different people that we know and uh, get quotes for them, and okay. then we, uh, we set up appointments, and then uh, the individual can just talk to the person themselves and, and pull the trigger on who they want based on what their criteria may be. We just okay. take it all of them having to do all that themselves. Okay, great. So how long have you guys been doing this? Uh, so we started uh, in March of 2018. Okay, so, so a couple uh, of years. A little over two years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and, uh, and uh, we love it. Uh, it's, uh, it, you know, it's, it, the idea is still fairly new in the area, although we're not the only businesses that, business that uh, offers these services, but it's still fairly new. So it's getting, uh, uh, people out there to know, you know, what we do and what we're about. And, uh, but it has been, uh, it has been very good. And uh, we've, uh, we've met a lot of great people through, uh, through our services. Um, so, yeah. 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 And yeah, like some of the services, like what we didn't mention is we do house sitting for people. Unfortunately, oh, yes. Right now, vacations seem to be on the hold, but yeah, we've that's for done sure. that in the past where people <laughs> go away for vacation. Yeah. We'll, we'll look after their home water plants, make sure the driveway is shoveled if it's in the wintertime, make sure, you know, the lawn's taken care of if it's in the summertime. So uh, that sort of stuff as well. But again, you know, with, with the pandemic. It's, yes. It's yeah, yeah. Well, yes. Hopefully it'll be behind us soon, but uh, yeah, who knows? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So what, what was your background? What, what did you guys do? At, or do you do something else? Is this kind of like a part-time gig or is it full-time or? Uh, no, we're uh, doing it full time. Um, uh, we, uh, our background uh, is uh, fairly similar, actually, for both of us. Uh, logistics was um, is a big part of it, and um, management, I guess, right? That, yeah. Those were the two uh, two big ones, and then we've had some customer service experience in there too. So, uh, you know, the three, it just made sense that we have uh, that experience, and uh, we can, of course, bring that to our business. Yeah, some of the jobs we had, we were in charge of organizing things and setting up new departments and, and areas. So we just mm -hmm. kind of transitioned that from, you know, working for someone else to working for us. Perfect. Great idea. 
Um, so um, you, you're located where in KW? Kitchener, yes. yes. In yeah. Kitchener, okay. And you service, uh, how big an area do you service? We are doing the KW, Cambridge, and uh, Guelph, and any of the surrounding areas. Uh, but the majority of our work right now has been in the in the KW area. Okay, perfect. All right. Um, now, uh, in terms of uh, just asking a little bit more about yourselves, are you are you natives to the KW region, or? Uh, yeah, I've lived up here since about nineteen. Yeah. 88, 89, somewhere okay. in that area. Yeah. So, perfect. Okay, so quite a while. Yeah, yeah, it's been a yeah. while. <laughs> yeah, good, good, perfect. Any particular uh, part of the region that you like more? Uh, no, no, it's, uh, I, when I moved up here, I really, I liked the Kitchener-Waterloo area. It's just, it was, and it's changed so much since. And sure it, has. It was just so nice. It had, uh, it had a kind of an urban, and city appealed together. It's like two minutes you could be outside into the country and it was beautiful, but it had a big city atmosphere where you had a lot of things that, right? I lived in Eastern Ontario, that's where I was born, and it was a very small town with very, very limited access to some of the stuff that you have in a big city. So it was, it, it was kind of everything for me. I had the big city when I moved up here. Yeah. And then a few minutes outside, you had the country. Yeah, perfect. Very good. And, and, and you're from the same area, from Eastern Ontario as well? Uh, well, uh, from um, out east. <laughs> uh, <laughs> actually, Labrador. I, uh, I grew up in Labrador. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, Labrador city. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So I moved down here around the same time, though, early, uh, early 80s. Yeah. So moved down here. And uh, I actually moved to Cambridge. I was living in Cambridge for most of my uh, time here in Ontario. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I love Cambridge. And it was very small when I came down here, too. Yeah. I don't even know if there was 50,000 people in Cambridge. At oh, the wow. Time. So you, you moved here in the Gulf days, I guess, then, probably, right? Well, it was considered Cambridge. Oh, it was already Cambridge. Okay. Yeah, it was already Cambridge. Yes, but uh, and, and I think even today they still can. You know, they're still very. You know. Yes, they're very divided. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it it, uh, it was Cambridge, but very small. Uh, I remember Franklin. There was uh, nothing on Franklin but one. Two lanes and a and, and, and a farmer's field. field. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah, and then I've moved to uh, to uh, Kitchener a few years ago, and uh, yeah. I've been here Good. ever since. Okay, excellent. Well, that's great. I mean, I, I, I think the, uh, the the service that you're providing, uh, I, I think it's it's definitely uh, come up, uh, to its time for sure. Uh, we, uh, being in the real estate business myself, you know, you always get that question of, you know, who do you know that can do this or that? And, and I mean, obviously, there are many relationships that we establish over the years, but there's a lot that we don't. And you know it's great to know that that there's somebody at the helm of things that can I can just say hey call these guys they they know everybody yeah yeah, yeah that'd be great when uh, and, and we're here to uh, you know to support that absolutely and uh, you know any any way that we can help at all we uh, you know we'd be happy to help yeah. for sure yeah like Maggie says if we can't do it ourselves yeah. we'll we'll make sure we find somebody that we trust and and is going to do the job the way mm -hmm. you want it done mm -hmm. yourself mm -hmm. so perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when I, I, I spoke to a couple of people uh, uh, before I, I interviewed you guys, and I guess sort of the 800 pound gorilla or the question was, well, how much do these guys charge? How do they get paid? Uh, so we have uh, we have packages of uh, of time uh, blocks of time. So uh, we have had to make some. Um, custom uh, customized packages because a client might want a little bit of both and so it just works out better for them that way but we do have uh, uh, packages on our website and uh, we disclose how much they cost and we we go you know, we'll meet with the client and see what they want and then we'll put on that while we're then you basically give them a quote at that time yes yeah yeah okay. with the with the packages uh like, like Maggie says, it's on the web page, what yeah. the prices are. We, we bill in 15 minute increments. Mm -hmm. So like if you bought like a five hour package and you had a list of jobs that you wanted done, say next week, 
and it was only for like three and a half hours, we would only bill you three and a half hours. You would have the remaining hours to use at your disposal. Yeah. Uh, some people, once they use up their five or 10 hours, depending on the package, they just say, let me know when we're getting down to the last couple hours and we'll renew or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, we give them a running summary based on do you want it weekly, monthly, how often do you want it? So, you know, what we've done, the hours we've used, stuff like that. So yeah. that, you know, we're all on the same page and there's no surprises. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. We keep track of all that. So now, so your your typical client then are are they just one offs or do they do do you have the some that are sort of, you know, sort of on the meter so to speak or, you know, do they both? Yeah. Both. Okay. Yeah. Good. So people that go away and that kind of stuff, right? Yes. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. Well, that's great. Well, I'm excited about this. Uh, <laughs> So did I, was there any question that I didn't ask you that I should have, or that you want to bring up? Uh, no, I think I you've been pretty thorough. I think so, yeah. I think okay, you're... good. Perfect. Probably because I'm going to turn into one of your clients. <laughs> 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 well, that's great. That's, that's terrific. Very good. And uh, how do people get a hold of you? You've got, you've got a website and an email address, I would imagine. Yes. yes, we do. Yeah. So uh, we have uh, info at topnotchconcierge.com. And it's very important okay. to put the hyphen or dash in there or else okay. you guys won't come through. Okay, and perfect. we're also on uh, social media. We have, um, we have uh, Facebook. We, do, uh, we are also on Instagram and uh, Twitter mm -hmm. and uh, LinkedIn. Yeah. So we're, okay. we're all across uh, those four uh, social media platforms. platforms yeah. Perfect. And is there a phone number as well? If somebody just wants to use the old traditional copper line method? Yeah, absolutely. 519-577-0062. We'll get you through to Maggie. 519-577-7976. Okay. We'll get you through to me. Perfect. Okay. Gee, the only thing missing is an app. You guys put an app on the, on iTunes and then you'd be uh, off to the races. Uh, we've been thinking about yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> we've been looking at that, and things were starting to build to the point where we're thinking, and and then again, things have slowed down now, so we have to kind of put those those kind of costs on the back burner right now. But yeah, yeah for sure, that was it was on our radar. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Well, that's great. That's great. I think you got something here. That's that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Really well, thanks so much for your time. Thank well, you. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye now.